This is part 3 of Bootstrap tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to create page layouts using the Bootstrap grid system. One of the very important concepts that we need to understand in Bootstrap is its grid system. The grid system is used for creating page layouts through a series of rows and columns. The grid system consists of 12 columns as you can see here. This grid system is so flexible that you can create any page layout that you want. Let's now discuss how to create a three column layout using the bootstrap grid system. The three column layout should be as shown here. The page should be divided into three columns with 1 is to 4 is to 1 ratio. One important thing to keep in mind here is that if we add the three numbers in the ratio 1 is to 4 is to 1, the sum should be equal to 12 because the bootstrap grid system consists of 12 columns. This means if the left sidebar column is 2 units, then the main content area should be 8 units and the right sidebar column should be 2 units. So when we add these three numbers, 2 units plus 8 units plus 2 units, we get 12 units. Bootstrap includes several grid classes for creating layouts for different devices like mobile phones, tablets, laptops, desktops, etc. The table right here shows the available Bootstrap grid classes that you can use to create grid column layouts ranging from extra small devices like mobile phones to large devices like large desktop screens. We will discuss these different classes in detail with examples in our next video. For now, let's use this class call-md-star to create the three column layout that we want. There are three simple steps to create the three column layout that we want. First, we create a container. We do this by creating a div element using the bootstrap container class. All the rows will be within this container. So let's flip to Visual Studio. So I'm going to create a div element and the class of this div element is going to be equal to the bootstrap container class. Notice Visual Studio IntelliSense shows us all the available bootstrap classes. This is going to create a container for us. All the rows are going to be within this container. Now, the next step is to obviously create the row within the container. To do this, I'm going to create a div element with its class equal to the bootstrap row class. So this is going to give us a row. The final step is to create the three columns that we want inside this row. We do this by creating a div element and setting its class to one of the available bootstrap grid classes. So we can use any of these grid classes. For this example, I'm going to use call-md-star. MD here stands for medium device. Similarly, LG for large, SM for small, and XS for extra small. Star here represents the number of columns that we want this new column that we are creating to span across those 12 columns bootstrap grid system. For example, if the column that you are creating, if you want that to span across two columns within that 12 column bootstrap grid system, then you use number two instead of star. So first, we want to create our left sidebar column. So I'm going to use call-md for medium device. We can also use the other bootstrap classes like you know XS or LG or SM. So let's use MD for this example. And I want this left sidebar column to span across two columns within that 12 column bootstrap grid system. So I'm going to use number two. And the content within this development is going to be left sidebar. The next step is to create our middle column, which is going to be our main content area. And we want that middle column to span across eight columns within that 12 column bootstrap grid system. So I'm going to use number eight there. And finally, we want to create our right sidebar column. And we want our right sidebar column to be spanning across two columns. So I'm going to change the text here to right sidebar call-md-2. And the content within our middle column should be main content area. Notice when we add these three columns together, we get a sum of 12, 2 plus 8 plus 2. Now, the bootstrap grid system is based on 12 columns. So since the sum is 12, these columns will be lined up next to each other in a single row. So let's save these changes and let's view them in the browser. Notice this is how the div elements are displayed. Let's apply some custom styles to these div elements to make them look pretty. To do this, I'm going to add a style sheet to our project. So let's add a new style sheet. And I'm going to name this custom styles.css. I'm going to name this custom class 
custom div and we are going to define a few styles for the div elements so I'm going to include a margin of 3 pixels and uh, I'm going to enforce a minimum height for the div element and let's set this to 300 pixels and background color is going to be silver let's align the text in center and finally let's change the font size to large alright so that's our custom div class and let's include our style sheet within our index.html I'm going to place this just after our bootstrap CSS file and what I'm going to do here is actually move this content inside another development so I'm going to nest an, another development here and the content will be inside that development and I'm going to apply our custom class that we have created to this development so the class is going to be custom div that we have just created let's do the same thing for the other developments as well so I'm going to move this to another development and the text here let's change it to main content area and finally let's do that for the last column as well and here the content is going to be right sidebar so let's save all these changes and I'm going to reload this page so with our custom styles applied this is how the page looks notice we have a three column layout here now there are some important points to keep in mind when working with bootstrap grid system to create page layouts rows must be placed within a container for proper alignment and padding so look at this we have our row within a container so row should always be placed within a container for proper alignment and padding we use rows to create horizontal groups of columns so here we have three columns within that given row content should be placed within columns and columns only may be direct children of a row so all the content should be inside a column and columns should only be immediate children of a row if more than 12 columns are placed within a single row each group of extra columns will as unit wrap to wrap onto a new line so for example at the moment if we add these numbers you know 2 8 and 10 we get 12 so these columns are displayed nicely you know next to each other in a single row but what if the sum is going to be beyond 12 now let's look at that in action so when i change the sum here I mean the number to 3 so obviously it's going to be greater than 12 so what happens is this column right here will be automatically pushed onto a new line so when I reload this page look at that that column wraps onto a new line but the moment it becomes 12 you know it comes back to the same row so when I refresh this now it's back into its place so keep in mind if more than 12 columns are placed within a single row each group of extra columns will as one unit wrap onto a new line grid columns are created by specifying the number of 12 available columns you wish to span for example to create four equal columns we would use four call dash MD dash three now let's create four equal columns that is with one is to one is to one is to one ratio here is the example that we just worked with now this is what we want to do we want to create four equal columns that is with one is to one is to one is to one ratio so a column should look like this now to create four equal columns I'm going to make each column span across three columns within that 12 column bootstrap grid system so let's flip to Visual Studio the first thing that I'm going to do is make a copy of this development and then change the class of all the developments to call dash MD dash 3 let's do that for all the developments so now let's do it for the final element so now with this change we should get four developments with one is to one is to one ratio four columns now let's look at another example here's the HTML to do that 
Now what we want to do is create four columns but with 1 is to 2 is to 2 is to 1 ratio. This is how the columns should look like. And to do that, I'm going to change you know, the first column to two units, the second column to four units, the third column also to four units, and the final column to two units. Let's save the changes. And when we reload this page, we should get 1 is to 2 is to 2 is to 1 ratio. So using the 12 column bootstrap grid system, you can create any column layout that you want. Thank you for listening and have a great day.